Hello, and welcome to this third part in a three-part series on Avanti self-service. In this video, we're going to cover knowledge base and being able to search for knowledge articles and finding and giving reviews to the knowledge articles that are there. To start with, I'm logged into self-service. You'll see again self-service mobile, meaning the HTML5 responsive design with iOS and Android apps available to connect as well. On this, we have this very first search uh, bar that comes up that we can go through. This is a global search that will allow us to search several different components within this. You see here, as I do a quick search for Outlook, it will search uh, for knowledge articles. It will search for frequently asked questions. It will search for announcements. can also be configured to search for request offerings that are in the service catalog uh, as well. It just doesn't do that out of the box. Once you go through and select any one of these, it can take you to those or you can go to the direct knowledge article and frequently asked uh, questions section. If I again hit enter, it will take me to the full knowledge base search and do that search configuration associated with that. So I can come into this, also can get to the search section here where I can go through find any of those Outlook pieces that are there. And then we also have the frequently asked questions section. So in this one, something along, how do I go through and extract files from a zip? Here you can go through and see, right click, click extract, and you will be able to go through and do that. Or how do I connect to a printer or a network um, or a projector, or any of those kind of things would be able to be listed in the FAQ section. Now the FAQs are a little less stringent than knowledge articles. They don't need approvals out of the box in order to be published. They can be done by several different roles within the system. So you decide whether or not you want FAQs you know, in your platform or not but you can go through and have knowledge articles. And this is the most common area where you'll see things. And knowledge articles can be very rich. So example, here's my VPN uh, knowledge article. In this case, this has to do with Active Directory being locked out. And we have a little YouTube fix that says how to fix your account if it's been locked out along these lines. Now, this is just a link to a third party YouTube video that we have that goes through and does this but you could embed this in here using iframe with your knowledge articles associated with that and the different details. You'll see that it's got keywords up here along the top. We've got a uh, knowledge article that it's been, re it's rated five stars and it's been rated by three different users. If I wanted to go see what those users have said about that rating, I can go through and see the details on there. I can also come through, see any attached documents that are here to this. I can see any uh, searchable documents as well as any other documents that are attached. And then I can see whether what I've rated this and what I've said based upon that information in the past. Now, if we go to one that I haven't rated to this point, give you an example of this Wi-Fi uh, connectivity issue knowledge article. You see again, the keywords up here along the top. We see the rating information one user has rated it and then I can come through see the details walk through that very rich knowledge article images and different details on here and then I can say whether this was useful or not I can give it my rating so I can say yes this was exactly what I was looking for yes this article is helpful and as you go through and leave that feedback that information is there and that will then go and upload that details uh, to that particular thing on the back end and that knowledge article will get processed and, and processed and it will move higher in search results and different things along those lines as you find it. Now you'll notice you can also do searching up here from the knowledge. Again, back from the home screen, you could do it, but you can also search just knowledge articles. Here you can filter down by different categories. You can filter it by different types. You can filter it by ratings and you can have it sorted by different things as well. So if I wanted to do a search for you know, uh, VPN, it would bring up just that particular knowledge article. Now you can also have knowledge articles that allow you to go do something with them. So for instance, you see here, how do I make a change to my benefits since I've had a qualifying event? Here's a knowledge article. It doesn't have a lot of rich information in here except for, oh, hey, you can just go click on this link and it will take you to the request offering in the catalog that says, how do you go to create or make a change to your elections based upon a, 
a qualifying event in your in your family, right? So then it would give you all of the questions that you would go through and select as part of that benefits enrollment package, and you can go through from there. Or the same thing as an example on this, how do I request a standing desk, right? It then says, hey, they're available as part of the service catalog. Go ahead and click here to open up that service request offering to be able to go ahead and see the details and say, oh yes, here is my standing desk request that I can go ahead and do. You would see costs that would be associated with that. I could then submit that out for approvals and have it go through its normal workflow and process along those lines. So the knowledge base is available. You can search against all of the different pieces to that. The FAQ is available. You can again search against FAQs and you might have also seen announcements were available as part of the search so you can see announcements that are being set from IT with any of the additional information that you wanted to do for that. So that's an overview of knowledge, FAQs, and announcements within Avanti Service Manager. Thank you for your time.